like I was born in like globally a very luxurious position. I can travel most places in the globe and like I can just go to Serbia and work. But for other people like that same journey is like multiple years and possibly getting beaten, pushed back, drowned, etc. So I'd say the situation in Serbia is that at the moment a lot of people who are trying to reach countries within the European Union uh, and at the moment the route through Serbia is one of the, I guess, highest traffic. You, my name is Henry, I'm 27 years old, I'm from London and I'm currently the Subatica project coordinator for Collective Aid in Serbia. The Serbian government tolerates their presence and sets up some refugee camps and geographically not all of the camps are in places from which people can continue their journeys. Uh, so for all of those reasons a lot of people end up sleeping rough in very challenging conditions. Collective aid is made up of volunteers is providing basic humanitarian assistance to people on the move. That includes food, clothing, hygiene, and um, wash services, so showers and laundry. We mostly see uh, young men on distribution, but at some of the squats there's also women and children. So we bring pre-made packs uh, of kids' clothes, Some people have been here for months now because as soon as the weather gets cold, it becomes quite hard to, to go on game, which means to try and cross the borders. Um, and it also depends how many attempts people make to cross the border. So some people would make it first time or after one or two attempts. Some people have made 20 attempts to cross the borders. Um, so then they'll be here for weeks or even months. I'd say we're trying to fill a gap in services in a very small and inadequate way. Like, the amount of food that we provide is not enough for people to sustain themselves for any significant lack of time. When we are in these squads, we are responsible to look, to see, to really observe if everything is okay. We are not going to change everything for sure, Not we are not heroes. But we are responsible to do what the best we can with what we have. So this is the squat, when the people come out, if you could turn off the camera. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Today we the types of story we, we hear a lot are like people cross the fence, walking maybe a few kilometers inside like Hungary or Romania. Uh, they're apprehended by police, they're beaten, their phones are taken, detained uh, without the possibility to exercise their legal rights to claim asylum, and then they're dumped back across the border in the middle of the night, um, often injured with no phone. The work is like really hard, but interesting. Talking and meeting with people from all over the world every day, um, even if it's in a often horrifying situation. In den zwei Monaten, in denen ich jetzt hier war, war es am berührendsten zu sehen, wie die Menschen miteinander teilen. Und dann natürlich auch irgendwie ja, Kinder, die hier sind. Ähm, 
ist immer wieder hart zu sehen, weil ich meine, wir wissen nicht, aus was für Umständen sie geflohen sind, ähm, aber wir sehen, in was für Umständen sie hier leben. Es macht mich sehr emotional irgendwie. All die Menschen, die ich hier getroffen habe, irgendwie dann, dann hier zurücklasse. Wenn ich hier bin und ich sehe, was passiert und ich kann irgendwie eine kleine Sache geben oder ich kann einen kleinen Teil tun, dann kann ich besser damit umgehen, als wenn ich weiß, dass die Menschen, die ich gestern und heute getroffen habe, immer noch weiter hier sein werden. Aber jetzt muss ich mir vorstellen, was vielleicht passiert, anstatt dass ich sehe und vielleicht irgendwie darauf reagieren kann. Ja. when you go home and feel like, oh, I had this really profound transformation. And you expect that like other people are gonna notice this and really ask you like, tell me about your work, like tell me about the situation, like tell me about how you changed, whatever. And people like ask you a little bit and then you just like carry on with your relationship as it was before. I think for people who mean a lot to you, sometimes that's quite frustrating. After a while I realized like, everyone has their own stuff going on, like everyone has got some tunnel vision on their like world and their problems and so it's not reasonable to, to expect everyone to be like focused on the same issues as you.